What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to another castle review. This one we're taking a look at is actually a promo. It's the Forest Hideout, that's set 40567. It has 258 pieces, two minifigures, came out in 2022, and this was a gift with purchase as long as you paid about 150 USD or 200 Canadian. This is a model that a lot of people had been looking forward to, including myself, when I heard they were making a promo based off the Forestman. I was thrilled. So we're gonna break down this set's positives and negatives and see where it stands. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And we'll begin by taking a look at the box art and this by far is my favorite box art I've ever seen as far as Lego promos go. You may be saying why? It's just simple. Well that's exactly why. This harkens back to the older castle sets and how the artwork was kind of done. And I love the fact that they brought it back for this. I'm hoping that the castle that comes out that's $350 USD is going to be done in the same fashion. As you can see in the bottom right corner, it says 90 years of play. This is sort of one of the 90th anniversary sets and they decided to make it a promo and I'm thrilled about that. It does say 18 years and up, but I can guarantee you, you'll like this set if you're under 18. I would have a lot of fun with this if I was a kid. And as an adult, I'm just saying everyone's gonna like it. On the side of the box, it shows off the two minifigures. And on the back, it gets a little bit more into the set, into the interior, some of the smaller items that are included along with how big it is. And then moving to the side, just has some more writing on the top, the minifigure, and then on the bottom, just the barcode and all that good stuff. Let's now take a look at the set. And to start off the set, we'll begin by giving you guys a 360 view. As you can see, it is relatively sizable, definitely tall. It's nearly a foot in height or about one fourth of a meter which is nothing to scoff at, especially since it is a promo. Love the fact that there's a little doorway right over here. We will take a little bit more detailed look at this, but I just wanted to mention that. It has a very castle-y Robin Hood type feel. At least that's the vibes I'm getting from it. You have those awesome looking shields. They are printed pieces. Let's now break it down area by area. And the first thing that we'll center in on is just going to be this little target for the archer. It is a printed piece as well. There's no stickers in this, fortunately. And uh, yeah, that's pretty well the only smaller build that's included. Give you guys a little bit closer look at the uh, front of it. You'll notice these deer shields kind of marking the forestmen. I guess that's their banner. And moving to the other side, there is a shield or a spear, I should say there along with a mushroom, some flowers, a pine tree, and this doorway that I'd mentioned earlier. Now to open her up, it's very simple. It's just like so, and there's not too much going on in the interior, but there's quite a bit, or I should say a decent amount. First thing you'll notice is these windows on either side, along with this ladder, which can be lowered and raised. I'm not sure why you'd ever lower it, but you can if you want. And right here there is one of the, or there is a barrel. And inside, we have a couple gold studs. Now this is my only complaint with this. These really should have had a little bit more detail, maybe some printing. Would have loved it if they included the old gold chrome pieces. But not the end of the world, it's my only complaint with this model. The other thing that I really, really liked about it is how creatively they made these trees. Check that out, especially the top tree right here. Very creative use, that is an engine piece. I also like the fact that you have this blue rooftop and you can raise and lower it if you desire. It's just a very creative use of a lot of these pieces. I've never seen trees, well, I have seen trees done this well, but I'm just impressed by it. They've used a lot of pieces you wouldn't necessarily think to make trees out of. Let's now take a look at the minifigures. And here we have the forest men and the forest woman. Love the look of these guys. I like the fact that they have a little bit of red detailing. If you guys are familiar with the forest men theme, not all of them were done like this. Some of them were just completely green. 
which is fine, but it's nice to have a little bit more going on. You guys have a view of their back torso printing. They don't have any back face printing, but they do have back torso printing. And removing her hair, that's what his back torso printing looks like as well. If you remove his quiver, decent looking minifigures overall. I almost wish that she had a hat just like him, but it's okay that she has a hair piece. Like the fact he has a little plume hanging out of it. He reminds me of one of Robin Hood's Merry Men. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. I feel that this is probably one of the very best promos Legos put out. I have a very difficult time faulting it. I find it very generous. I mean, if this was on shelves, it would be about 25 USD. That's what I think it wor would work out to roughly. And I think that that would be pretty fair. The fact that this was a promo is fantastic. It's also quite large. Like when you see this on display, especially if you open it up, it is a bit too big to be a promo and that's a really good thing. But also on top of that, the fact that it's Lego Castle and you have two forest men or a forest man and a forest woman is great because, well, if you guys look at the aftermarket, the older forest men from the 90s are going for quite a bit of money. So anyways, overall, I just really, really like this one. Can't really fault it. The only thing again, I wish it had, you know, chrome gold coins or at least gold coins with some printing on it. But the fact that it was just gold studs is not the end of the world. We're getting very picky, but that's probably my only complaint with this model. But as always, let me know what your personal thoughts are on this one. If you like it, if you don't, any areas you think they could maybe improve on it. Always interested to hear your guys' take. This makes me very excited for the brand new castle we're getting. That's gonna be 350 bucks, it's gonna be expensive, but it's huge. But that pretty well does the review, but if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you know, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future Lego castle reviews, Lego promos. The ones we've been getting lately have been really good and uh, hopefully Lego keeps it up. But that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.